Hello there, how are you? My name is Anthony Gray. Welcome to another thrilling episode of Grayscale. I'll try to make this as painless as possible. Um, right now I'm just getting my stuff prepared. I will be working with Dioxazine pur um, Purple, Cad Red, uh, Dollarani Pink, Titanium White, Sap Green, and Raw Umber. If I should need any other colors, I'll uh, put them on there. But I don't think I'll be needing any. Uh, this seemed to be pretty much somewhat straightforward, I guess. Nice little woodland scene with a lake. Uh, something of that nature. I'm just going to wet the brush here. The bristles. Before I dip into anything. It just loosens up the bristles and whatnot. I just wipe off the excess on my rag here on my lap. Alrighty then. I work with acrylic paints. Uh, I like Grumbacher. It reminds me of oil paint. I used to be an oil painter. Um, you work from the back all the way to the front. Alrighty, alrighty. I'm going to get a little bit of my vegetable glycerin shampoo mix. All it does is extends the lifetime of the of the paint. It's good for blending. Uh, you don't need much on here at all. So I'll just scrub it on here. I'm working with 11 by 14 watercolor paper, which has a different consistency than canvas. Uh, the glycerin will soak into the paper. All right. So I'll give it a nice little coat. Like I said, you don't need too much of this stuff. All right, now that I've done that, um, I'm going to work with a little bit of the, the oxygen purple. Okay, and I'm going to just whip some color in there just like that. And I'm going to go with the flow here. I'm just have it streak around just like so. I'm going to take a little bit of the red. All right, I'm going to throw some red in there. I'll mix that red in there all up on top here. Continue with the kind of strokey nature of it here just like that mix it right in there I'll mix it right in with the purple okay um, I'm gonna get some pink all these guys are related to each other so I'll throw some pink in there also put it right in there now you may not notice of course you won't unless I say it but the colors are drying already. So with paper, you just kind of have to add the, uh, the coloration in there, uh, add the glycerin in there. Now I can actually add the glycerin on top of this, the glycerin, and um, blend it more. Just like so. And it smooths it out. Just like that. I can move it. See? It gets rid of some of the streaks there. It moves it around and all that good stuff. Add some of that in there. Still going in the general direction, whatnot. any green to it. I don't want to gray it up. So I'll try to get the colors just to stay in one accord with each other. Adding a little more purple. The red is seeping through and that's fine. These are just background trees and, and stuff like that. And I'm going to be in front of the camera a little bit. Sorry about that. Unless I zoom in a little more. But I guess I'll start, I'll start the trees somewhere around here. And they're going to vary in size. I'll just do it like this. 
they're in the background somewhere I'll put some up here like that down maybe a real tall one right here and I'll have them get a little smaller because it'll just be land here yeah something like this it's just some land mass right up in here something like that okay let me zoom in a little bit so you guys can see more of the tree and whatnot than me so let's aim it that way <coughs> excuse me getting a little more purplish a little more reddish and here we go just some far off distant trees I'm using the tip of the brush and you just add a little tap here and there zigzag Bob Ross style all right just like that you get a little wider as you go down toward the bottom okay um, it's more the appearance of them on the outside edges to give them their look you can go uh, with these rather quickly you can use more of the brush as you go further down now you're looking for more or less interesting shapes okay and it's just a grouping of of pine trees out here that's all and it's uh pretty much thick paint no medium so a little little pouncing here and there with them also the angle of the brush is very important also, if you angle it too much, you're going to get a bunch of sad faces, and that's not what you're looking for. Okay. I'm going to get some medium, just a little bit of medium, mix it in with the paint, just to loosen up the paint a little bit. Once again, I'm working with uh, paper, not, not the canvas. The canvas will soak it up, but not as much as the paper will. The paper, the paper will eat this stuff right up. So I'm a little little heavier with the paper. Now with these guys, because they're so bunched together, I'll have to make some a little taller. And that's okay. Just like so. Put some tops on, on some of these here. Maybe accentuate a little more. Like so. Like I said, these fellows are in the background back there. I can put some little bushes and whatnot in here like that or I can just use the tops and add you know little mounds here and there get things a little interesting pop a few up like that okay and we're gonna darken up some of that down in there all right now I'm gonna take some uh, medium like I said, I don't know how far I really want to take take this, but I should have maybe extended the uh, lake a little bit up top here, but I didn't know. But that's okay. I will add some medium right up in here, right up here, right up top, right up here. And since the colors are so similar to each other okay I can just pretty much add on I can add on a little bit of the uh, of the purple here right up in here like that just add on a little bit tap it in add on some red mix it right in there mix it right in there on there too, too. just bring it right toward the top uh, let's put some of that I should have wiped off the purple first but that's all right up in here and a little whoops a little white and pink You're up in there continue with a little bit of the well the purple over here I kind of messed that one up but that's all right that's all right we can always correct that and a pinch of red right up in here it's okay and we're gonna fade all of that in anyway we're gonna wisp that into shape I'll use my blender brush to do it and we'll just blend blend some of that in there just like that 
do the same thing on this side just mix it right in together it's okay blend it right in there none of that will matter because it's just going to add to what I'm about to do next is I'm going to take it and I'm going to just drag down a little bit drag it down it's just the lay of the land, the reflection. Okay, you can do the same thing here. And just lay the land, lay the land. These are the trees, go a little heavier if you want. Straight down. These are straight down as you possibly can anyway. Straight down, straight down. Very little sizes. Just like that. Just vary the size. All right. And I'm gonna do the same thing like I did with the water. I'll take the blender brush and we're gonna lightly go from left to right here. Same thing here. Go from left to right. Give the sense of movement in the water a little bit. Just like that. We can fade some of that out, like <clears throat> like so. Let's take a palette knife if I can find one suitable. I'm gonna get a little bit of white, drag it around a little bit of light light bit of purple just to lighten it up a little bit. Maybe a touch of red inside the white, and I'm just tinting the white right now. That's all. Get a nice soft little edge. And we're going to go right across like that. Well, some of it, will it all mark? Maybe not, but that's okay. But just a slight horizon line. That's a slight one here. Some of it will come across, some of it will not, and that's fine. A nice gentle one right, right across. Try to keep it as straight as possible. Don't want a crooked horizon line. It's just bad for business, you know. Let's add a little bit of movement in the water. Just a little bit. Just a little bit here and there. Some of it catches, some of it will not. It's okay. Some of the waves might be a little larger than others. That's also fine. I'm on paper, so I gotta press a little, a little harder. It's all right. You know, you can even take some of this, if, if it's still wet enough, and add little branches up in here. You can do it if you want to or not. It's up to you. Like that. And bring some of that down there if you want. And you can bring some up here. here. Like, up to you if you want to add that many. Hopefully I'm doing this uh, where you guys can see everything. I'll draw the camera back. I don't think you guys can see everything, but. Now, as I'm doing this, it looks a little thick. Might even look a little intrusive, but that's where the blending comes in. You can still take your blender and very lightly, if you would like, especially down below, if you wanna just blend some of those in there in the opposite direction it just just like that you can pat some of these in here get rid of some of that if it's too much that's all I'm doing just blending some of that back a little bit and now with some of the glare from the sunlight you're not able to see it unless I put a shadow there okay so let's extend this out a little bit just a little bit And we'll move it back over like so all right but anyway that's you know 
so far so good, I guess. And you see it's pretty similar to the colors that's in the sky and whatnot. Okay, if, like I see here, I got a little bit of a uh, little darkness right here in the middle. You wanna lighten it up a little bit. I'll take a little, little bit of the pink, just a little bit. I'll lighten some of that up in there. Get a little touch of, of the titanium white. We'll put that in there too. And we'll bring some of that down in here. Take the blender and easily, very lightly, left or right, as, as straight as you can, and we'll blend some of that in there. Just like that. Blend some of that in there like that. That's all I do is just blending it out a little bit. Alrighty then. Now we got some of the clouds established and all that good stuff. Um, same colors up in the sky. Same colors here in the perceived water. Okay. We're going to get some, uh, some land mass going in here and get some trees going the other way. All right. So I guess, all right, but we're going to establish some, some uh, massive land. Oh, right about in here. Get some nice sized trees, maybe up in here. And we're going to put another one here. Uh, nice tall one right in here. Okay. Um, medium guy in here. But our land mass will be, we'll, we'll put it like in here like that. Okay. We'll do it like this. And we'll come out and we'll, we'll curve it in like that. So pretty much the land mass would be right up in here. We can, we can darken this up. Doesn't matter. We'll darken that up. Our highlights will help shape the land. But right now we'll just, like I say, we'll just darken this up right in the corner here. Okay, I'm not gonna add, I'm gonna use the same color, but I won't use this thick brush for it. But I do wanna get the majority of the main color in there. I'm just cleaning off the brush. I clean off the brush pretty good here. Thalo blue is an extremely powerful color. Got other colors mixed in it and whatnot, but it is a very, very strong color. I'm gonna get, if I can find one, I always have trouble. Uh, well, I'll use this guy. We'll see if this, this one will work. If not, I have to move on to something else. I'm gonna have to get some more blue and red uh, mixed in here to maintain that, that strong sense of dark. I need plenty of paint for what I'm going to do next. So I'm just going to mix my paint right here in a big swath of blue that I already have. It's just a uh, cad red, phthalo blue, and dioxazine purple. I'm going to mix it all together. I got a one inch brush and I'm just going to get it. There we go. This is going to be a nice uh, glob of dark here and there. I'm going to mix this all together on my one inch brush. Mix it all together. I need thick paint here. And I don't want really to necessarily bring it to a chisel. Okay. Pretty much like that. You want it, you want it right there. This is the front of the brush. Dead ahead. You want it thick with paint like so. Okay. If you can splay out the brushes a little bit, that's even better. We're going to do a different variety of trees. I showed you the trees with the uh, fan brush here all the way down here like this it's the background we're gonna do different type of trees here I, I call my willy trees named after the instructor who showed us how to do these and we're just a little flick of the wrist here the paint's pretty thick as you can see I'm making a different variety of pines okay these guys a little more hardy looking but you can still see a little bit of the background Okay, it's not a hard touch. It's very soft. That's why I had a thick amount of paint. And get the general shape of these guys. I'm turning the brush over. I got more paint on the other side. And just left to right. And you can maintain how much thickness you want on these fellas. Okay, up to you. But still make the base wider than the tip. 
of course. But you can see it, you got the nice little holes in there, okay, where the birds can fly through and all that fun stuff. Just like that, okay. All adds uh, to selling the look of the tree. I'm going to take some pink and a little bit of white into that pink. I still got the blue in there. I didn't I didn't clean off the brush. <clears throat> Won't be necessary. Still want to highlight it with a little more pink. And we're going to use this for the light side. Okay. Uh, the light side is going to come from the left. So just some light touches. Just like so. Don't necessarily want to get rid of all of your dark. You can bring some of that down in here. Okay. Same thing on the other side here. If you want to bring a tree in front of another one, you can do that also. Touching it up with a little more pink, a little more white. So just getting some more paint added in there. Very, very simple to do. This is fun. You have a good time with these guys. You don't necessarily get rid of all the black. Let's put this bigger tree way out here somewhere. In the front. Like that. <clears throat> so he's stepping out in the front a little bit more. And we'll lighten this guy up a little bit. Just like that. Alright. I will tease a tinge of green in here. Just a little bit. Just a slight bit. And maybe even put a little white in there. So I'll tease a little bit of green on the other side. I'll bring some of that color into the white itself. Just like that. Just a little tinge of it. Just a little bit. Just to tease the look a little bit. Your discretion. You can leave them as is. Or you can add a little bit of green. I'm just tapping the brush, tapping the color into the bristles. Some I'll bring out toward the edge a little more, some I won't. This tree's a little larger, so put them right up in there like so. Don't want to give the appearance of it being pushed in, so add some. Just like that. And I'll maybe put some, some hedges in there, like that. In spots. I probably would use a lot of lighter blue, so I'm dipping into my blue right now. Same brush, same one inch brush. I'm gonna add a little white into that blue. A little more white, get it to show a little bit better. And we'll tap in some little bits of grass and whatnot in here. Just on the top. Right up in here like that. And we'll bring some of that up in here. Just like so. You're probably hearing some television show in the background there. Just like that. Alright. <clears throat> I'm going to use a little bit of the palette knife to get me some, a um, little bit of land in there. I'm using my raw umber and I'm scraping off a little bit of pink, maybe a touch of white, not necessarily blend the whole thing. And I'm going to tap the bottom edge of my knife, that's for all the colors I'm right there on the bottom edge. I'm going to gently add a little slide, just like that. Some of it may catch, some of it may not. It's okay. Get a little bit more. Don't rush it. And just slide it on. Make a little path. <coughs> Get a little more of the white and the umber. We'll just like I say, just slide it on in there. Kind of looks like little rocks and a little bit of the land. 
we'll straighten some of that out while the paint is relatively thick and wet still. Okay, a little more white, add some variances here and there. Just like so. You can always build up, you can always take away. Just like so. And just slide it in one direction. Just like that. Just like that. Okay. Watch this. Watch this now. Take a flat brush. Doesn't really matter what size. And press, go straight down. I want to get some medium here, loosen up that paint. Help it flow a little bit better. And try to go straight down. Straight downward. Straight down, straight down, straight down. Just like that, straight down. Just like that. <clears throat> okay, let's get a little bit of, a little bit of white. I got mixed in with a little bit of pink. We're gonna get a little bit of this bluish in here and some of this titanium white. Not completely marble, don't need to be. Now, if it needs to be darker, now because of the sheen and the lights hitting off of it, it's kind of giving you that reflective. That's what's happening here. And I'm gonna go straight, straight across, straight across, straight across. A little bit of the land here. The water's edge, kind of. And well, like so. I'm gonna have to brighten that up a little bit which is fine, but we're gonna keep it going here. Straight across, straight across. Gonna have to lighten that up a lot, which is also fine. We'll lighten it up a little bit. And we'll, I'll just take some of the, slide it right down there a little bit. Same thing here, I'll slide some of that down. Wipe off my knife. We'll slide some of that down too. Just keeping it as flat as I can. We're gonna go over here, we're gonna do the same thing. Just titanium white. It's gonna mix in with the colors that you already have laid down there. Cause I just want a stronger. I'll just take the knife and just slide it straight down. As straight down as you can. Now some of the paint's scraping off because I don't have enough white on there, but there you go, something like so. We're gonna take some more titanium white. We're gonna get some. Right on across, straight as you can. Okay, like that. I got a little green mixed in with the white and that's fine. Cause it will still appear white with all the other colors. Almost put blue in there. Okay, okay. A little titanium white. There. Just to tint that up a little bit. in a few of those bushes in there. Really thick on the bristles here. And we'll add some more right in here. Maybe a pop in a couple right there, come across. Oh, let's put a nice one right in here in the corner. Just like that. Maybe even tinge one right there. Okay. 
Believe it or not, we're nearing the end of this thing. Very simple, baby. All right, well, we hope we still record. I gotta sit back. All right, try to answer the phone. Thing almost knocked over. Okay, we're almost done with this anyway. So let's get it moving. Um, we're gonna get a little bit of uh, red. I think I'll use the uh, dark brown. A little cliffside here, a little craggy rock. Something like that. And we're gonna darken it right in there. Uh, not necessarily any medium, just I just want something dark right here in the corner. Okay. We're gonna do the highlights and shades on this. Just a uh, rock. I try not to make it as uh, smooth. Okay. And we'll have some fun with this guy. Making um, all right, something like that. I just want something something dark. Now it's still like along the same color line as um, the water in the sky. I really don't want it that light because it's the closest to us. So we'll just I'll add some blue in there, gray it up a little bit. <clears throat> so I'm using what's left of the blue. I'm going to darken this up a little. It doesn't have to be perfect. It just adds to the texture and whatnot of what we're going to add a little later on. So. It's just phthalo blue on top of this purple umber mix. I just want it darker than what I had previously. Just like that. Like I said, we're going to do the shading and the highlights on this fellow. Like I say, because of the sheen and it being wet, that's why you see... Uh, the bright lights from outside. All right. Cleaning off the brush. And we're going to we're going to play. We're going to have a little fun with this. It's going to definitely definitely need thicker paint for what I'm about to do. All right. What I'm doing is I'm going to take the flat edge here and I'm going to tap it into the I um, guess I'll tap a little bit. Let's make a highlight. We're going to tap some umber and we're going to tap some umber and titanium white on this guy. Nice grayish color. And I just pat my knife back and forth and you'll see if I turn it to the side. There's a little chunk of paint right there. We're going to get a number of those and we're going to lightly just very lightly, light touch, and we're gonna go make a nice little pattern of rock, like so. Just like that. A couple of taps, and you can move on to the next one. Whatever pattern that you feel fit. That is it. Let the paint skip and do whatever. Just like that. Okay, while I got the bright titanium white out, I can straighten up some of this 
land mass up here. Cut right into this guy, right in there like that. It's just a tight roll of paint. Some of it will catch, some of it will not. That's okay. It's like that. Putting in a couple of bright ones in there, <coughs> here and there. Pure titanium white. Just like that. All right. I don't believe I have to add really anything else um, to this. I can actually call this guy done. I'd like to thank you for watching this. If you have any comments, you can put them down below. All right. Let me know what you think. I'll draw this. Uh, I'll pull this out a little bit. And I'll take the uh, tape off here, which is something I usually do. I'm always a kind of a stickler of a nice, clean, sharp border. It's nothing but blue painter's tape. And remember, I'm not doing it on canvas. I'm doing it on watercolor paper. About 125 weight. Something thick, a little durable that I can take this and punish with. Okay. Almost in an August color scheme. Almost. Almost. But somewhat close enough. Like I said, I hope you enjoyed this. Any comments, uh, write them down below. I'm going to get, let's see if I can get some white here and throw a signature on here. Love to hear what you or love to see what you read, what you thought of it, or what you didn't like of it. What you think could have been changed. I'll throw my signature right here. It's always a little tricky to do this with a uh, water's kind of wet. It's all good. Trying to white write on a <clears throat> We're almost into 2019 already, can you believe it? Alright, that's good enough. If somebody wishes to purchase it, they'll look for the signature to be a little game for them. Alright, guys. Well, thank you very much for watching this once again. Like I said, for like 30 times or whatever. Um very quick simple little woodsy scene you know you got your water happening um, the lights coming from the upper uh, left this time and um, just a few strokes and in a few minutes and you know you got a painting hopefully you would be happy with um, if you like what you see if you like the teaching or whatnot just subscribe to the channel tell others about it haven't subscribed I'm on um, um, fairly regularly so there will always be something updated and all that so with all that said um i'll see you guys next time and um thank you for watching peace